Hello, everyone. Welcome to Raw Sims. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. <laughs> yeah, so, long story short, I mean, you know, life happens. It's holiday, then I was moving, my birthday, and... You know, it's a lot of stuff, but I am all settled in, in my new place, and it's good, and so we're back. We're back with uh, Michaela, who's talking to this guy, and I remember from when I made the last video, which was part seven, I think, a long time ago, um, nobody, people were not impressed with, uh, what's his face, because he was mean, or what have you, Perry, yeah. Perry, Perry was mean, so we weren't into that. Caden had good, good traits, but we don't know how we feel about him. He looks a little weird. So, you know what I decided? I decided, you know, Michaela, she does not have to settle for, like, whatever is around at the time. She can go looking. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, apparently not right now, because it's, like, 9 o'clock at night. Uh, I guess we could. Let's try it. Um, so, yeah. I decided we're gonna go looking. She's gonna go looking, but first we need to get her a dresser so she can she can update her look a little bit. You know, geez, she can't even afford a dresser mostly. She can only afford a children's dresser or these lockers that I have a mod that makes them into a dresser. But I feel it's a little cheaty, so we're not gonna do that just yet. So we're gonna wait until you know she gets some more crops or something, and then she can have a dresser and we can she can buy some new clothes, you know. I am I'm saying the dresser is a substitute because you don't have to pay for clothes, but you know The dresser is gonna be our substitute for what it would cost her to get new clothes Uh, What am I looking at? Oh my god. So has it been so long? I've forgotten how to play and she's not really that tired. We might have her go like Dig something up get a little bit of extra cash or Rooney So she can um yeah, here's something so she can uh, get that dresser Harvest that while you're at it and that, hey, hey, let me just run down the street. And you're a teen, what are you doing out this late at night just strolling down the street somewhere? Little self. Go home, Cassandra. I'm sure your parents are worried. Let's just get all of this stuff. Maybe we can get a nice, uh, fancy frog. Ooh, let's, uh, let's breed our frogs. Gosh darn it, her. Her thingy is full. Let's wait a second. There we go. Let's uh, breed our frogs. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. Really? A dirt frog? It's our jack squat. Freaking dirt frog. I mean, it wants a dirt frog. Let's get that. But the rest of the stuff should still be good. Pick up whatever. It's old. Strawberries. Mmm. Love me some strawberries. Wish I had some strawberries. This I think I do. But I think they might have been in the fridge too long. Oh, she's harvested from fifty ha, harvest from fifty wild plants in the Sims for harvested interest. That's an achievement, apparently. Get something good. Heart frog. It's only worth ten bucks, but it's a different kind of frog. So we might keep that. Uh, let's see. So we got some citrine. Sell that. Yes, I want to sell it. I wouldn't have put it on the big money thing if I didn't want to sell it, game. Uh, some onions, strawberries, turquoise, uh, chrysanthemums, and daisies. Now, what are we looking at? Yeah, that's enough. We got enough for for a dresser now. Oh, here's something else. Let's get that too. Get that too, and that on our way out. You know. You know. Let's see, alright, let's get her a dresser that's not like a children's dresser. Um, I'll pay the 50 extra bucks. You know, let's splurge a little. Splurge for one that doesn't look all battered and terrible. Ooh, bugs. You can't actually catch, I don't think you can catch these bugs. But, you can catch outdoor retreat bugs. We'll have to uh, do something with that. Maybe not in this LP, but... In uh, one of my others, we will we will adventure into outdoor retreat because I do have that pack. I have played it on my own, and just haven't had a chance to uh, to uh, do any any recording. Is the thing because recording takes extra time, it takes extra you know availability. I can just sit down for like ten minutes and 
fool around in The Sims on my own, but to make content for you guys takes a little more effort, you know? And also for me to have everything properly set up. All right, so let's go in and we're gonna find her something a little, a little nicer to wear, you know? She, she can have clothes now. She has a house, you know? She doesn't have to just subsist in, in this business. So uh, let's 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 update her look a little bit. She's adorable. Look at her. Um, let's see. It's uh, you know, I don't know. Something nice, you know. Oh, this is cute. I have a <laughs> I have a uh, custom content of that. That's a little too wild for her. Hmm, maybe the brown or the. I think this is nice, simplistic. You know, the little the little jacket and the nice tee. Get her some new pants that aren't, you know, whatever is happening with those <laughs> that aren't looking, you know, that bad. And see, these are ripped, but they are, you know, they're fashion ripped. They're not just, uh, she can't actually afford anything that looks better. This is fashionably ripped jeans. So I like that. I like that. Maybe I might like these better, though. Cause I don't know, maybe since she is used to having ripped things, because she can't afford to not have ripped things, she would want something, you know, unripped. Maybe go a little wild with the, the pants color. Red, maybe. That's not wild, that's just a... Or maybe with the flowers. She does like flowers and outdoors and stuff. I don't know how I feel about most of these flowers, though. Those are subtle, but I want darker pants. For now, we're just gonna go with, uh... Let's go with these. And her shoes. I actually do like her shoes, but we might get her some new ones. Oh, little bootsies. These are from Outdoor Retreat. I don't know how I feel about her wearing them, though. Actually, that looks pretty cute with, with like, in the black. Actually, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. So, let's see. We want to do anything with her makeup. She's an adorable little thing, isn't she? Um, let's see. I think she's only wearing eyeliner. Yeah. She's only wearing eyeliner. Might get her a little bit of a a little bit of an eye happening. That's a little bit too much eye happening there. Uh yeah, this one. I like this one. It's a little bit of a smoky eye. Doesn't need anything on her cheeks. Let's get her a little bit of a a lip gloss. She has a lip gloss situation happening. You, she can afford actual lipstick now, you know? Well, maybe a nice nude. It's a little too bright for her. No, no. I actually like that. I like that. Yeah! Yeah, I like it. I don't, I like her. I don't want anything on her cheeks. I like the way she is. Just now, just a little bit of a lip. A little bit of an eye, you know? And so this is going to be her new every day. And her... <laughs> Poor child's formal uh, is is that too. So we're gonna give her an actual dress, you know. This one's cute. That's cute as a button, in fact. And this is this is custom content. This is some of the stuff that you see something you don't recognize is probably custom content. That is cute. I'm liking this dress. I think we're gonna go with with this and this one. Get her some cutie cute shoes. Not those, maybe. They're cute, but I don't know how I feel about those. For this particular look. Maybe these. Oh, yeah, that's adorable. Okay, we're gonna go with that. And let's give her a little bit of a different look. Maybe. Yeah, I like that. I like it, I like it, and let's try a little too bright. There we go. Oh, she is so cute. So there's her little formal adorable. We're probably going to give her a party outfit too that's not this. Oh, this poor child. Well, that's cute. Cute. I don't know if I feel about some of these color combinations, but you know. Hmm. That's a little too fancy. Hmm. I don't think that's her. Nah. 
know this is a little short but I the drops. Ah, let me try this one. That's cute. And let's have some cute cute sandals. Ah. Maybe in red. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. And a little bit of a I think that's too much. Maybe. No, actually, I like it. I changed my mind. I like it. I like it. I'm keeping it. And maybe a little bit of a shine. Shiny lip. That is way too light. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so she has, has a little bit of a different clothes on <laughs> her swimwear. She can have a swimsuit. You know, this is she doesn't have a pool yet. This is in preparation though for her pool. When she has a pool, she will actually have legitimate swimwear to to put on in her pool. I like that one. And what's where are the pants that go to that? I think these. No. No. Ah, these ones. Um, I'm just gonna go with black bottom yeah okay there we go uh, I'm not concerned about everything else and maybe give her a secondary skirt you know a little bit more dressy look you know a little bit more uh, let's go out and have some fun type of a look you want a skirt or do I want to go for a dress mm. I think that's a high-waisted skirt we might get her a little crop top or something for that. I don't like that one on her. I'm gonna say no to that one. I know I have something in here that I like. Ah, here we go. That doesn't actually crop. But I actually think that looks super cute with that. So I might actually go with that. Um, colors, colors. I actually like it with the blue. These shoes actually look really good with that. But let me see, see what else we have. I do want boots with it. I think it's it's a good boot style. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Um, could use these. I don't know. I don't want to use like these same boots for everything, but they're really cute boots. Is the problem a little bit cowgirl? I know she's gonna be wearing some some stockings with this, like those. And no, no, these no, no. Maybe these. Then maybe what we'll do is change up the skirts just a little. Just a fun pattern, you know. Go with that one. That's okay with me. It's a, it's a, it's a little out there, but you know, it's it's, it's alright. So I'm going to finish up that. That'll be it for that. So now she's ready. She's ready. She, she has a couple little outfits. A couple little outfits to, to go out into town and meet people. Look at her. Look how nice she looks. Alright, but it's actually 12 a.m. So I'm going to bed. And so this. And an Alcron. Whatever. Not worth nothing, but who cares. Let's uh, zoom on through. And I'm going to breed the frogs again. And around four hours. Breed. We could try breeding with the heart frog, see what we get. <gasps> yes! We bred another sunflower frog. Which is good. Alright. Let's continue the sleeping. Get the sleeping done. She wakes up, use her little toilet. And she's hungry, she needs a shower. You can take a shower. And do you have any food in here? You do. Grab a serving. Grab yourself a serving, Miss Lady. Let's get all our morning things done and she's gonna go out. 
Cruising. Cruising for dudes. Let's see. It's a very long shower, my girl. Here we go. Have a little bit of food. Look at her <laughs> chowing down. Oh, you little greedy self. Alright. She's not having any fun. So let's travel her for a little bit. Just a little bit of channel surfing. Come on, girly girl. All right, that's enough of that. Wasting time here. Um, and we're going to water, weed, harvest all. And by the time we do that, it should be afternoonish. So then we can go out. Don't know where we're gonna go to, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There we go, some weeding for invisible weeds you can't actually see on the plants, but we'll have to assume that they're there, probably. She's pulling something out of there. Oops, pen pair of bills. Whoopsie doodle, we should do that. Hope they're not too expensive, <laughs> we can't afford them. Well, we should be able to afford them probably after we uh, sell our, our harvest. All right, there we go. She's going to watch TV. We should be able to afford the uh, bills after we sell our harvest. Uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely! Sell all of this business. There we go. Should be able to breed frogs again. Let's breed the dirt surfer with the hard frog. What did we give us? A d really? Why do I only ever get friggin' dirt frogs? What's with the dirt frogs? All right, we are going to a uh, travel. We're not going on vacation. Can't afford that. We do a little bit of traveling though. Just a little. Girl, hurry up and call the Uber, or whatever it is you're doing. Whatever you're doing, girl. All right, so we could go to Rattlesnake Juice Bar. I don't think I put in any uh. Yeah, I haven't put in any custom lots. I mean, I guess I could legitimately just do it right now. I don't know if I can do it in this mode, though. But let's try. Um, let's see. Uh, do I have anything in here? I have a lot of lots in here, actually. Let's look at lots. Um, I'm going to include custom content because it's probably my own custom content. Uh, wait, wait, let's get a nightclub. Oh, this is the only one I have. Red versus blue, which is not by me. I don't know what else this is by you. I downloaded this from the gallery, and I think I did something like very minor to it, but now it says by me, which is weird. That is not by me. Um, I don't remember who that's by, but it is absolutely not by me. Look that up on the gallery. Let's see who it's actually by. Actually, I think I have to go to manage world, so let's cancel traveling right quick. Cancel traveling and go to manage worlds. Uh, just manage worlds, what do I mean to say first? We'll live dangerously. Dangerously. <laughs> and uh, we can get rid of the Soul to Flare Lounge because I never send anyone there. Quite frankly. Um, where is it? Ray versus Blue. Here we go. This is going to look weird because it doesn't belong here. And Actually, I guess I could just put it over here where it does belong. It can replace Blue, Nel Blue Velvet. It's fine with me. Of course, we want it furnished. Alright, there we go. Uh, so this is red versus blue. There we go. Go back to town. Alright. And let's go back to our, our, our lady here. Then we're going to go and travel to red versus blue. <laughs> what is that? That doesn't mean anything. 6213199A. Uh, somebody didn't write in the, uh, the tip there. They were supposed to. Somebody didn't do their job. There we go. Is this backwards? Oh, no, it just, because I always forget that that is actually showing you 
the little map is showing you those buildings from the back. Ah, <sighs> goodness. I'm waiting for them to put in so you can, like, rotate entire lots. Like, I know you could pick up the actual building, but then, like, the landscaping and stuff will be wrong. So a lot of times you want to place a building somewhere, but the person built it on a lot that's facing the wrong way. So, uh, here we go. There are, like, computers in here. I guess it makes sense since it's named after Red vs. Blue, which, if you don't know, that is a... That is a uh, Halo Machinima series. Very funny. Quite like it. Um, alright. So let's see who's who's around. Who's this? We're gonna talk to you, whoever you are. Let's cheerfully introduce ourselves. Everybody's going upstairs for some reason. Who is this? You have a beard, sir. I don't know what you're wearing. You're a little bit fancy. Oh, he's feeling flirty, though. Jacob. Alright, let's, let's, uh... Let's just have a little bit of a talk with you. Use that, uh, compliment his outfit. Use that charisma. Let's get to know him. We don't want to make the same, same mistake we made before, or we don't know anything about him. Let's take a look at you. Oh, you look kind of cute. Maybe, beneath that massive beard. He's eccentric. Of course, you can't just tell he's eccentric. Look at, his, look at what he's wearing. Hey, get out of here, Nina. Actually, I'm going to get out of here. You can do whatever you want, Nina. I don't like her. Okay, who is this? All up in our conversation. Um, you, Miss Ken, in fact, get out of our conversation. Like, not to be rude, but I wasn't talking to you. Goodbye, madam. You don't need to be in our conversation. I'm trying to get with this guy. I'm trying to chat him up. I don't need the barkeeper. All up in our business. Let's have a dramatic story. Mm. Tell him an engaging story. Engage his interest. Hmm. That's my heartfelt compliment. That should work for him. <laughs> See, where is get to know? I want to get to know him again. I want to know the rest of his secret traits. Oh my god, um, some people crowd around this one little bar. This one teensy tiny bar. It's hilarious. Anyway, I wonder what's up on the third floor. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Oh, it's like a little Space Invaders type thing. She's up here dancing. I don't want to know Brittany. Um, Brittany, get out of our conversation. Who is this? Where are you going? No, don't go listen. Where did he go? Um, Jesus, I look away for one second. And the, like, only guy at this entire place. Has uh, disappeared. Oh, this is a pool too. Why is the one guy here disappeared? As soon as I looked away for half a second. Ready, go. I mean, sure we can call him up, but we were talking to him in the club. Wow, well, he hasn't spread to be here. This dude legit just left. Why is Bella Goth? Is this Bella Goth? Pretty sure it's Bella. Yeah, it's Bella. Why are you walking down the street in like a full formal wear, woman? That makes literally no sense. Literally no sense. Little playground. There was a child over there. This dude legit disappeared. He's just gone without a trace. And we, yeah, why is everyone at that one little tiny bar up here? When there's a giant bar down here. That's so weird. I should delete that bar. In fact, I think I will, because why is everyone up here? Go away. 
you're gonna be on a bar be on the one that's downstairs where it would make sense because it's massive but you're open this and there's a massive one up here too and a grill why did she choose the smallest bar in the entire place to stand at so that everybody can be trying to get to that one little tiny bar what are you doing okay you can go listen to electronica Will there ever be any other men in this place? Uh, we'll have to find out next time, because I'm in this part here. Uh, in Michaela's search for for a husband in the Rags to Riches Challenge and some so forth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye-bye.